Hey there, it's your girl, Tech Life Steph. I just want to stop back in with another quick tip for effective video conferencing. Shout out to Crystal Washington. She is the host of the uh, Voices of Experience podcast for the National Speakers Association. This is where I heard this tip. Um, so I'm always happy to pass along uh, that new hotness for everybody else out there. So think about your the last Zoom meeting you went to and what happened when someone shared their screen to show you some charts of something else. It probably went a little something like this. So now you got, you got the whole screen for the slide. That's great. But you're up in that little thumbnail video in the upper right hand corner. You lose a ton, in my opinion, a ton of impact once you are not the main focus of the screen uh, and the content. Now, people can still see you, they can still hear what you say, obviously, um, but they're focused on the, on the slide and depending on how you structured your slides, maybe they're paying a little too much attention to that, not really listening to what you say. And, and I think depending on the content, the messaging can really get lost when you have to go to this particular method and mode to show information. But of course, technology to the rescue. Take a look at what happens when you use Prezi video. So you're gonna go from that tiny little thumbnail up in the upper right hand corner of your screen to this. This is Prezi video. It's a new feature uh, in Prezi. If you're not familiar with Prezi, it's like PowerPoint on steroids. It's a great way to, to do slides and charts that makes it look a little bit more interactive and a little bit more visually engaging. This is the next level of that with Prezi video. So it actually allows you to overlay the slide onto your video video and you can scroll through super easy to create the slides you got your notes there you have everything you need to refer to as you're giving your presentation and you can just click through so you'll download Prezi video onto your computer um, it works with most video conferencing services so it's going to work with zoom I just did this particular presentation on uh, the hop in platform and it worked there it works with uh, webinar jam and go to me so it should work on most platforms. So once you download Prezi video to your computer, you can actually create this slideshow in Prezi video on your machine, or you can create it on the website as well. Um, it lets you upload photos if you need to, and then you can type in the text there if you need that as well. Um, and then once you get this done and saved, this is your, your presentation, your video presentation, you will open Prezi video, you'll leave Prezi video open, you'll open whatever video conferencing tool you're using, and then you'll see an option within the Prezi video window to start video conferencing. So it actually connects the two, and once you get back into the video conferencing platform that you're using, you'll select Prezi video as your camera. So that's how it makes it work uh, with this overlay. But I just think this is super duper cool, and again, just a great way to to keep your audience engaged by not disappearing from them uh, so they can so you can see their slides you can upload PowerPoint slides to Prezi video you know you can see the sizing of it so depending on what type of information you're showing this might not be the best uh, mechanism for you if you have slides that are you know got a lot of charts and graphs or things that people might need to see in full screen but if you're doing pictures like this and just different cues to to get people to move along to your next thought and you and you just want a little bit uh, of a of a of a pinpoint there and a reminder uh, to move on to that next thought Prezi video is a great way to do it I think you're gonna see a lot of people using this uh, going forward I know I will be using it going forward um, I don't think you can upload video within Prezi video so I know some of my presentations do have video embedded in them um, so I wouldn't be able to use it for those particular presentations but but uh, again, if you just have a presentation that has uh, pictures and, 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 and slides that just act as cues to get you along and move your thoughts along uh, throughout your talk, Prezi Video is a great way to go. Just saying. That's all I got, y'all. Stay tuned for more cool tips and videos soon. Peace.